what's going on? This is Zero Magnum X. Welcome to Kaijudo Corner. I believe it's number eight. Uh, we're actually going to do our first Kaijudo fight for you guys on here. And I hope you guys like it. Uh, the reason it's a little bit different of an angle from the card fight I just put up or will be going up, whichever one of these goes up first, is because Kaijudo is a little bit different in the setups. So you want to be able to, to see everything. And there's no real damage zone. The shields go on there, so we don't need to worry about that and so on. So we're just going to get started. We're going to dice roll, shuffle up, and then play our shields and start the game. Uh, this will be in the best of three, but we're going to do it in three videos. Because Kaijudo is ran in matches. There's no sideboard, though. I got the winning dice roll. Nine, I got five. <laughs> so I will go first. Well, I mean, I can decide. Kaijudo's odd. They don't give you mulligan, but they let you look at your hand and decide if you go first or second. So we're going to lay down our shields. Also, for you guys watching, real quick, uh, there's different phases. For those who have watched the tutorial, there's actually a mana phase. I confuse that because I do play Magic. If you guys want to see a Magic match on the, on the channel, let me know. Uh, we have some cool decks now. Uh, but anyway, for this, you have to charge mana instead of it being like lands. And I thought it was like lands where you could play at any time. So you can't play like logo scan and then charge mana. You have to charge mana first. All right, we'll look at our hands. And like I said, I will go first. I'm going to play Reap and Sow in my mana zone. And I'm going to play Prickleback. Go ahead. Drop a turn. I'm going to charge a mana, and I'll pass the turn. Okay, uh, draw. I'm going to put Terrapit in his mana, and I don't have any other place. So we're going to move to combat, and we're going to attack this shield. You're good. Prickleback will return back to my hand. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Got to drop another thing as mana and pass. Draw. That happens a lot in this game, so I don't think she's like not actively trying to play. Sometimes you do just passively play cards. I'll play Scared Orb of Gloom Hollow, and go ahead. And I charged a Tornado Flame to mana if it matters. Draw for turn. Gonna drop a Hammer Dragon. Okay. Tap three, Heat Seeker. Alright, that kills him. And I'll pass. My turn? Yes. So if you guys are like expecting a really fast paced game, this isn't it. I'm just letting you guys know. It's it's actually like how, it reminds me of how magic used to be and it, how slower paced it is. Bronze Arm Tribe, his effect, so I charge mana. <laughs> it's another Bronze Arm Tribe. Go ahead. So it, it's basically sorcery speed magic for those who Try. don't know. For those who do play Kaijudo, you probably figure this is kind of normal. Tap three, spark cage, tap that. Okay. And I'll draw a card. She must have really needed a drawing card. I did. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a lot of high cost stuff. Gonna charge a bone blades to mana. Gonna tap four to play Reap and So. I'll check the top two cards. One I charge in the mana zone, one goes into my hand. Bronze Arm Tribal will attack that. I'll hold on to it. Go ahead. There is no main phase two in this game either, folks. It's after you attack, Draw. you're done. Lay that down. Tap five. Hyperspeed dragon. Okay, my turn. Yep. Gonna charge mana. Tap eight. Bolt tail dragon. Mm -hmm. Bolt tail's gonna come in to get these two. Because he has fast attack, which is haste in this game, folks. First one's good. Tap. Okay. So the storm spark goes off. Go ahead. Okay, and tap a five mana. Drop a turn. Lay down that as mana. And believe me, just because I'm at full shields and she has one left does not mean that I'm going to win. Uh, there's many times I've won on zero shields. There's times she's won on zero shields. It. 
Tab 5, Herald of Infernus. This is a good reason why. Okay. Herald is going to attack over Bronze, Bronze Arm. Arm Tribe. Okay, are you using his effects? I am. I'm going to bring down a Hammer Dragon. Okay. And here, you are you attacking with Hammer Dragon then? At a Wood Shields, because he's Double Raker. Right. He is going to swing at these two. Okay, do his check. She reveals the top card. Okay, if it's a CSA Dragon, apologies, folks. It has to be a non-evolution dragon, so Lux will go to the bottom of the deck. It can freely call cards. Okay. So these two. All right, first check, we're going to Terra Pit Hyperspeed Dragon. And this will go to hand. I pass. Okay, then I tap and I start my turn. going to tap eight, play Bolt Tail. Attack your shield. Yep. And then attack for game. All right, we'll post game two up and see what happens. All right, guys, stay tuned and Zero Magnum X out. All right, guys, we're back and we're going to just do round two for you here. Just should be posted up Sunday. Just so I'm not spamming you guys. Now, this will all count as Kaijuta corner number seven. It's not going to be seven and then eight. So I um, won, so she gets to choose after looking at her hand if she wishes to go first or second. Remember, no mulligans in this game, but you get to choose. Now you may ask, well, why would you want to go second in case there's like a mana you don't want to charge? There, okay, that's first. an option. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, we're going to charge your Bolt Tail Dragon and pass turn. Draw for turn. <laughs> going to charge another Swords for Pass and Go. That Draw. We're going to play Screech and Scare Adorable as mana and pass turn. Draw for turn. Lay down a heat seeker and pass. Draw. Hmm. I'm going to play Dream Pirate in the mana zone, and we're going to cast a Dream Pirate. For the record, if I had Scaradorba of Bloom Hollows, that's what these guys are. They're filler right now. And I'm not going to proxy them on the channel. Go ahead. Because I plan on turn. using this actual deck as it is until I get the... If I can find Scaradorba of Bloom Hollow, then I'll be putting them in. Until then, it is what it is. Gonna tap two for a Lux. Go ahead. Okay. Draw for turn. I'm gonna put Bullgas Dragon for mana. I'm gonna play Gilliflame the Assaulter. Gilliflame comes and breaks that shield. You're good. Okay, he bounces back to hand and a pass turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to put down a Helios Ring. Okay. I'm going to tap two for a Lux. Sure. Now since I have five mana available for dragons, I'm going to tap three down here. I'm going to play a Hyperspeed Dragon. Okay, my turn. Yep. Draw. This is funny. I'm going to put a Gill of Flame into it, then they're going to call it Gill of Flame. Because <laughs> there's no point in having two. Uh, we're going to attack a shield. Okay. Gilflame returns back to hand. Go ahead. And tap. Draw. Going to lay down a mana. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tap three, spark cage. Tap it down, I draw a card. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tap my other three. Lay down a Herald of Infernus. Sure. Herald's going to swing over Dream Pirate. He does. I don't can't really call anything, sadly. But Hyperspeed Dragon's going to swing in and break that shield. Go ahead. Oh my, what to do? Uh, going to charge this as mana. Dark Scared Herbal, we're going to break a shield. Okay. 
and pass turn. Untap everything. <clears throat> Draw. Hmm. Gonna lay down another Helios ring. Gonna tap four for Kanina. Mm hmm. Now let me think. Gonna tap three for Spark Cage. Tap down Stark Scared Orbital. I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Nice. And now Harold's gonna swing over. With powerful attack, with powerful so it dies. I get a chance to call another dragon from my hand. Yes. I'm gonna call down a hammer dragon. Okay, you using are you gonna attack with him? I am. He's gonna attack those two. Okay, check it the top card. It is it's another a, hammer dragon, so you can call it. Uh, now we check. Okay, they both go to hand. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to start doing this with those I've already Attacking attacked. with hammer dragon again? I am. Check the top card. Yep, target those two. Top card, that's an evo dragon. Yes, yeah, so it goes to the, the bottom, bottom of the deck. Okay, we're actually going to play Tendril Grasp, so all your level threes will go to the mana zone. That only level threes are lowers, so, yep. And... Bonds are that so you just attack for game all right guys this is game two and i hope you will enjoy game number three when we post it peace guys all right guys game three you know what instead of just putting them separately i'm putting them all in the same video which will be obvious at this point which i'm sorry for but they just went so quick i don't see a reason not to if you guys want to like pause in between go ahead but you know if you can put a match up in in three, all in one video with Windows Movie Maker. Why not? And that way you guys can just enjoy the whole match. I don't think the same will be true for Magic, but for Kaijudo, these seem to be two fast decks. So... Now this won't always be the case. Because if I play Cobalt Control, that game could take a while. Or one of my other decks I own. What's your choice? I look at my hand, and this is my hand, so I'll go first. <laughs> Charge mana, go ahead. Just for the record, in case you didn't uh, read it as a joke, Draw. the Kaijudo book says, look at your hand. This is your hand. Look at the card you just drew. This is your hand. Yeah. Now you gotta live with it. Basically, go that's ahead. what it tells you. It's just kind of funny. I'm gonna do bad move number one that you shouldn't do in this deck, and pass turn. Draw. Hmm. Also another bad move that you should never do with this deck, but you gotta do it. Tap two. Lux. Okay. Play a Lux for a Lux. Yay, bad moves all around. Go ahead. Play a Dream Pirate. Untap. Draw. I can lay you down. Tap another two. Another Lexi. Go My ahead. turn. Gonna charge Gilla Flame. Heat Seekers. No! It's target. Yeah. So which one? Lux. There's two Lux. I don't really care. <laughs> it's just say, go ahead. Which one was shiny? This way it would matter. If one was shiny, Draw. it might, but I don't care otherwise. Set that down. Tap four plus one. Hypersonic Dragon. My go. turn. Uh, because I'm not seeing anything green. Gill Flame. Break that. Okay. Gill Flame hides back away in my hand. Go ahead. Coward. He is. Draw. Okay. What to do, what to do. She's thinking. I mean, she doesn't have obvious and furnace herald play. I don't know that one in particular. Why did you throw in furnace from your hand? Okay. I need the mana for later. Sure. Okie dokie. Harold Swain in over here. Barrage kills all your uh, level 2000 or power or less guys, so Lux will die. And he swings in over here. My turn? Yeah, another reason to play down extra mana. play this. 
I didn't charge mana. In case anyone's like, did you charge mana? No, I didn't. <laughs> attack Hyper... Or no, attack Herald. And go ahead. Because she kills him, he goes Draw. in my mana zone. Put that down. And this seemed more relevant. The cards in my hand are good too, so I don't want to get rid of them. I think I have to untap him. My bad. Mm. Sorry, we're chatty Go this ahead. round three, it seems. Both of us. Uh, huh. Come in the hard castle on my dragon. Charge mana. Tap four. Bronze arm tribe. Charge mana. Break two shields. First one's fine. Second one's fine. Go ahead. And tap draw. Hmm. I don't like how you made me have to do this. <laughs> tough decisions seem to be tough. Okay. Bring him into play. Sure. Now he's going to come in at I'm going to block, but you still check. And he's going to swing on in at that one. You're insistent on attacking that. I am. Go. <laughs> Make me hard cast all my dragons, you know. Eight. We have eight. Terror Pit. Attack your guy. And I played him last turn, so we'll attack your shield. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. Seven mana. She can count! <laughs> love you, dear. I love you too, you big fat jerk. <laughs> Can't you feel the love in this game? Okay, you know what? Top seven Spellbane Dragon. Sure. Go ahead. When it's your only move, it's your only move. How very true. Gila Flame the Assaulter. Hi, Gila. Buddy. Take your shield. Yep. Gila Flame for game. That'd be it. When you're stuck, All right, you're guys. Stuck. I hope you enjoyed this Kaijudo game, uh, Kaijudo Corner number eight. It was Dark Saberbolt versus Boros Dragons, and have a good one. Later, guys.